I'm assuming your phone lit up from Mama or somebody on Monday night, and you know, text or a call. What was that like? Yeah, I mean, I mean, everyone's calling and you know, just you know, saying the praying for everybody. But I mean, it's just like you, as a parent, you know, now I have my son. I mean, it's just something that you, I couldn't even imagine, you know, watching, you know, watching my son go down like that, or watching, you know, even a cousin, a friend, a brother, like something like that. So, like I said, I mean, it's just something you can't really put into words. It's just all of us here. I know everybody here, everybody everywhere else, we're praying for him and just hope he has a full recovery. Has any family member said to you in the wake of that? Yeah, I mean, you know, my mom, my mom always called me up, but I mean, he's just. But does she say? Does she say that's it? You know, you can't go back to that locker room. You can't play football anymore. Nah, no, no, no. I mean, she does. I mean, people, everybody here, we know. Like for a lot of us, this was our way out. You know, so um, I mean, we know obviously the risk that he signed up for is just something we don't think about. But at the end of the day, like this is, it's not who we are. But I mean, this is what we do. And you know? so it's just for us, it's like. You just got to pray for him and hope he gets back. We know he loves his game. The game loves him, so I mean, that's just how we have to take it. It takes a certain mindset, I'm sure, to do what you do on Sunday afternoons. You kind of got to get yourself psyched up for that. Does that part of it become harder after an incident like this? Yeah, I mean, no doubt. I mean, at the end of the day, no one could sit there and see something like that and just say, oh, they're just going to flush it. You know, it's in the back of your mind no matter what. Right. Um, I mean, it's, for me, just watching it was just a routine tackle. So, like, it wasn't yeah. nothing crazy, no freak accident. Like, I mean, he was just a good football player, in my opinion. So, like, for us, watching something like that, it's always going to sit there in the back of your mind. But you got to just, you got to try to put it in the back and go out there and play. Which today pretty normal. Yeah, I mean, we obviously, I mean, Coach did a good job bringing everybody up. We talked about it. anybody had anything to say. Um, e. Harris had a, he had a real good message for us, you know. So, I mean, that was really that was really powerful, uplifting. And it was just one of those things where it's open mic, you know. If you have something to say, because you want something on your heart, talk to somebody, and, you know. Okay, so it was really, really good. What did Eric say? Oh well, I mean, so he, had, he had a whole, he had a whole, like, well, scriptures yeah. and everything like that. But I mean, it was good. I mean, he, you know, it was like uh, just stuff that he said about being a player, um, in a fan's perspective, a football player's perspective. So I mean, it was just, it was just really good to hear. It was one of those messages that I think that helped a lot of guys out. Can we start with Monday Night Football? Whenever you see a hit like that and what happened on the field, what was initially going through your mind? Uh, just praying, just praying that uh, he could get up. And when that did happen, it was really just praying that. Anything like anything good could come out of it. It was it's a horrible situation. Um, this football, so we all know the risk. It's a physical game, but nobody expects to see that. Like, How does that put things into perspective for you as a player? You just said it's football. We know that there's hits like that that happen, but what we saw on Monday night was clearly very different. How does it put things into perspective? You gotta love it. You the love for this game and appreciation for every snap you get. Um, that we talk as players, and it's just. It just comes down to appreciating every moment because uh, you, you never know when it's going to be your last. And that's life. I mean, shoot, it doesn't even have to be on the football field. You'd be driving your car down the street and somebody come hit you. So we all translated that to just appreciating everything, football, life, and everything the NFL can do for us. Is it difficult to go business as usual today? You guys have a game on Sunday. Life is moving on for you guys. But is it is it a little bit difficult? It's a little difficult, but that's the life we live. I mean, it's difficult to come in here after you lose, after you put in a lot of work, and, but you got to do it. And I mean, we got the right guys, so everybody, we're talking to each other, making sure everybody's okay, and got to go to work. Flipping in the national championship, the dogs are back at it again. What are you most excited about to watch the dogs take on TCU on Monday? Uh, just a chance to make history. Um, Stetson. Uh, go from a walk on to having a chance to go back to back. Uh, that's huge. Uh, couldn't be prouder for him and the team. And I'll just be rooting them all loud and hard. <laughs> Obviously, a totally different scenario, but when you were on the team that played TCU in that bowl game, what do you remember about that Cubs first year? Uh, we were just, as a defense, we were excited to play um, just to get a chance to go out there and play our brand of football. And I think they're kind of in the same situation. They're excited to get another shot to go out there and play play Georgia football and Georgia defense. So I'm excited, excited to see them go out there and ball. You brought up Stetson Bennett. There's the conversation, is he a legend or is he not? In your opinion, is he a legend for Georgia? <laughs> he is a living legend. <laughs> I love that. I love him. So, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only dog fan that loves him. Man. He works hard, so he deserves everything. He deserves it all. So it is the final game Win. That's it. Uh, it doesn't matter what happened before. Um, we're not thinking about what's going to happen next week. Um, we just want to win. And I think that's a similar mindset we've had all year. Um, just put last week behind us, win, lose, or draw, and come out ready to ball. Is there something about, you know, winning that last game? And taking all the For sure. Um, you always want to end on a high note. Um, just it leaves a good taste in your mouth in the going into the offseason knowing that you won your last shot, the last chance you had to go out there and play football. 
got to win and especially play well.